Well, hello there. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Uh, all right, I am showing you guys uh, some plants that I have never shown on this channel before. Um, I haven't had these in a while, maybe that's why. I got these a couple months ago, I think. And I'm doing a little experimentation because they're very easy plants. So I figured, let's experiment. Uh, but I have three different varieties of the same plant here and two different growing methods. And let's start with this one here. This one seems to be the most popular these days. Uh, and by the way, these are all spider plants. Chlorophytum camosum, I believe is the name. And this one is the bonnie, which has curly leaves. The leaves are like ribbons and they're curly. Really pretty. Uh, all of these, by the way, were single pups when I got them. Just keep that in mind as we move along from plant to plant. And this one is in Lekka. Um, I originally had this plant in just plain old water culture, but it's a single stem plant and it kept flopping around as, as it got taller. So I said, let me just hold it with something, um, secure the roots with something, and, and I, I decided to use Lekka this time around. Can't see any of the roots at, at this point, but, um, but the plant didn't even flinch when I transferred it. As you can see, there are new leaves growing. We have new growth. And the old growth is just getting longer and longer. It's just a really cool looking plant. And I can't wait for this to, to really leaf out and kind of trail down. That's going to be really cool. Uh, but yeah, so that's the first one. Uh, before I go to the next one, as far as care, obviously, if, if you're using Lekka Semi-Hydro, just keep a little reservoir. If you're using you know, the water culture, we'll get to that in a minute. But these plants don't even really need a lot of feed. Um, they grow very quickly and lush and beautifully, bright indirect light. Um, what I will use for these, which I have not fed these guys at all yet, just keep that in mind, um, but they will get either the orchid fertilizer that I use for anything that's in water or semi-hydro or my maxi grow for leafy growth. Um, but yeah. So that's that. Okay, that's the first one. The next one I'm going to show you is this one. And this one is the reverse variegated spider plant. And I believe this is the dwarf variety, which has um, white on the leaf margins on the outside and green on the inside. This came in a two-inch pot. Of course, I removed it and I put it into water culture. And look at those fleshy roots. This one doesn't seem to have a lot of root growth, but it has a lot of leaf growth. Um, and as you can see from this one pup, there are a bunch of babies that I eventually will be able to separate. Um, that is the main reason why I've been keeping these guys in water culture and this one I put into Lekka, just hold it up. Because all of these leaves from all these multiple plants that are in one root system, they kind of keep it in a nice position in this cup. So that's that's that reason why I keep these in water culture. Um, really, really pretty. This one grows very fast as well. It just keeps throwing out new leaves. And the leaves, if you look closely, they they end up, let's say, huh, I guess they I could say it this way, they end up with variegation on the margins. But when they first come out, some of them have striped variegation. Let me see if I can get a focus here for you guys. See that? See the striping all throughout the leaf that eventually just becomes the margins on the older leaves. Now, I could be wrong and these can stay the same like this uh, striped their entire life. We will soon find out. But all the older leaves just have the margin uh, variegation, the outer variegation. So we'll see. But uh, again, these plants do extremely well in water culture, extremely well in water. And it's so easy. I never forget to water them. As long as I make sure there is some water in there, they are fine and they continue to grow like crazy. Okay, outer variegated, really pretty. Now the next one, very, very common. You see these everywhere, but this is probably one of my favorites because of how it grows. It is crazy. This was one pup I received, right? One little pup and look what happens. You don't have to wait for that, um, 
that line of babies, like there's a stalk that comes out and then there are babies, there are pups that grow off of that stalk. You don't have to wait for that. If you grow these, especially if you grow these in water culture, the single pup branches out with a connective line and creates multiple plants, all connected, but can be easily separated. Look at this, I have one, two, three, four, five, maybe, maybe even six babies here, each with their own root system. Again, this was just one plant, one little pup. And through the time that I've had it in water, it has continued to branch out and kind of duplicate itself. They multiply, it's like gremlins. I don't know if, if you guys are old enough to know that movie. Anyway, uh, really, really cool. It just has been growing like crazy. The size that this was, for an example, when I got it, was probably like a little bit bigger than this left one. Probably closer to the back one there. Maybe a little smaller than this back one. And look at how much it's grown in the month or two that I've had it. A couple months, probably. It's just going nuts. Um, it loves water culture. The roots have gone crazy, as you can see. And in addition to that, it's growing lots of leaves, growing lots of other siblings. <laughs> they do extremely well. Um, I prefer the water culture method for these guys. And again, the only reason why this one is in semi-hydro is because of the need to prop it up. And I don't mind it. I think it's actually very pretty that way. And, uh, you know, I could easily transfer these to semi-hydro if I wanted to. I just love how this whole thing looks. And I love that I don't have to unpot it if I want to separate the siblings. I call them siblings because they're not really babies. They're like almost the same size. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, spider plants in water culture or in semi-hydro, they do equally well and very easy, beautiful plants. Um, imagine if you were to get, if you were to purchase a bunch of pups, let's say five pups, and put them in a glass vase. Those things would go crazy, especially if you got the bonnie with the curly leaves. That would look amazing. So just something to keep in mind if you want an easy way to grow a beautiful plant that I guess you could say kind of trails, that the leaves kind of reach down and and uh, it's just so cool looking. <laughs> all of these are cool. I love all of them for different reasons. But um, if you have any questions on spider plants, chlorophytum, um, or how to grow them in semi-hydro, growing them in water culture, anything that you see here that we spoke about, please don't hesitate to reach out. I love talking about this stuff, as you know. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell if you want to be notified anytime I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.